walking her dog, laughing and shopping, spending time with her family and friends was a big part of her life. Thank you.
sure you get them in each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't put me in the
until the game starts. I don't. I'm just the game. All right. I, I'm used to having a voice in my ear telling me what to do, Dylan. That's how it works. Even though you don't have this, I mean, I, I go when the game starts. Okay. So Baldy Galeri will uh, win the top. They uh, will get the ball to start the game on homecoming 2013. Huntington deferred for the second half. As welcome to homecoming 2013 as the Eagles host the Bearcats of Huntington. Baldy Galeri coming off of a loss to Tyrone last week. Huntington with a win. Devin Green from Huntington will be the kicker for the Bearcats. 
Eagles will move right to left at Alumni Field in the first quarter. Back deep will be the brothers Green, Bryce and Brian, Dakota Bartley, and Nate Cleaver. All set to get underway for homecoming 2013. Wobbly kick. It's going to be picked up by Bartley on a nice bounce. He'll take it to 30, 35. Cuts outside. Cross the 40. And will be stopped at about the 44-yard line. Great field position for Baldy Galeri to start things off in the first quarter. Another short kick. That seems to be the uh, way that most teams are going to handle kicking off to Baldy Galeri. They'll spot it right at the 45-yard line. Eagles break the huddle. Jason Jones at quarterback. He'll start out of the shotgun. Tyler Shaw closest to us. In motion is Bartley. Fake handoff to Bartley. Check that. Bartley did get the handoff. Pickup of about three. Second down and seven. Right from the gun to start with tonight. See if they utilize the speed on the corners. Now the greens come to this side. Shaw to the far side. Brian Green in motion. Sweep toss to him. Across the midfield to the 45. He's going to get a first down. And will be stopped at the 43-yard line of the Bearcats. First down for Baldy Galeria. Inside a minute of play here in the first quarter. Jones coming back onto the field after he gets a play from Tobias. Shaw will come out to the near side of the field. Bartley in motion. Inside give. Handoff out and he's going to be run out of bounds inside the 20-yard line to about the 15. Dakota Bartley gets the handoff using the shotgun and running out of it. No passes yet for Bald Eagle area. First down at the 13-yard line for Bald Eagle. Three plays, two first downs. Not a bad opening drive for Bald Eagle area. After the shutout last week at Tyrone, points on the board early would be a nice change of pace. The Green Brothers are on the right side of the field. They'll come to the left side with it. It's Bryce Green. He'll get the edge and be down at about the six-yard line where he's run out of bounds. It was Brian Green, not Bryce. Inside the 10, second down at about four. Clock stop with the play going out of bounds. Seems to be a some sort of discussion between the side judge and the referee. Prolonged discussion between the uh, side judge and the referee he'll come across to this side and talk to coach Jack Tobias to try and explain what's going on so the down marker does say second down Ball's placed at the seven yard line. Bryce Green will go out to the far side of the field. Shaw's in, not as far out, but on the near side of the field. Bartley in the backfield. Jones with the option.
pitch to Bartley, strung out nicely by the Bearcats. Bartley's going to be run out at about the six-yard line, gain of about one. Ran the options to the near side of the field, not much room for Bartley to get any room to turn it up. Clock rolling. Just about 10 minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Out of the shotgun again. Bartley beside Jones. Brian Green goes in motion. Inside handoff to Bartley. He's going to get inside the five-yard line, short of the uh, goal line, but he will get a first down at about the two-yard line. First and goal for Baldy Galeria. Nine forty-four left to go here. Opening drive for Baldy Galeria. They started at their own forty-five yard line and are at the two yard line right now of Huntington. Bartley in the backfield. Handed off to Bartley. And side judge says he's in. Touchdown for Baldy Galeria. Bartley picking up the last two yards all on his own. And the Eagles take the early 6-0 lead. Tyler Shaw on for the extra point. Down, kick is up. Shaw is good. And just like that, Baldy Galeria takes a 7-0 lead. Two minutes and 35 seconds on their opening drive. They lead 7 0 over Huntington. Nice opening drive for Baldy Galeria, what they needed after last week at Tyrone. Now, we'll see how they'd handle the defense here against the Bearcats. Back deep for Huntington will be number 21, Red Stachok, and number 44, John Wagner. Shaw set to tee it up from the 40. He kicks a squibbler. That's his live ball right now. Picked up by an up man. And tackle is made by Ryan Watkins and a couple other Eagles at about the 40-yard line for Huntington. Comley and Coons also in on the stop for Baldy Galera. They were at the bottom of the pile. So Huntington's first chance to get the ball tonight. They'll start at their 40, down 7 nothing. Hudson Speck is their quarterback. Send a man in motion to the far side of the field. Tight formation. Speck drops back to pass. Steps, looks, and throws. Broken up on the play. Tyler Shaw pass intended for Devin Klar. Shaw with the stop with the breakup on the pass. Second down. Threw into double coverage. Bryce Green and Tyler Shaw on the coverage for Baldy Galeria. Second and 10 for Huntington at their 40 yard line. Huntington in with a tight formation. One running back, two H-backs. Sweep play. Seven tough yards for number 21, Red Stachuk. Let's give him seven yards. Cower on the stop for Ball to Galeria. Second, third down and three. Bearcats been in a tight formation with both their plays so far. 
Gain of eight makes it third and two from the Bearcat 48 yard line. Inside handoff, stopped right about at the line, first down line. At the bottom of the pile for Bald Eagle. Josh five. It will be a first down though for Huntington. So Huntington runs three plays, gets a first down. They're into Baldy Galera territory at the 49 yard line. Wagner will come out wide to this side. Send a man in motion to the near side. And we have a penalty flag. It looks like it's going to be procedure against Huntington or an illegal shift. Oh, check that. Offsides against Baldy Galeria. Not sure why the referee stopped it if it was on the defense, but nonetheless they did. So first and five now for Huntington. Hey, let's stop that and uh, let's talk about it some more. First and five for Huntington as they break the huddle. Wagner out to the far side. Here's a sweep. Handoff is to Devin Clark. He'll be short of the first down by about a yard. Kobalarchik on the stop. Second down and about one, maybe one and a half for Huntington. Dakota Rossman checks in for Baldy Galeria and Adam Morgan comes out. It's at about the 40 and a half yard line of Baldy Galeria. They need to get to just beyond the 39 yard line. Wagner will be split out wide to the far side of the field. Comes that sweep again. It's a fake. Rolling out. Fake throw. Just the end of the ball will come loose, but the whistle will blow instead. Hudson Speck looked like he was going to throw it, tucked it underneath and got a first down. And when he was stopped, let go of the ball, but the whistle had blown, so there isn't a fumble. So first down for Huntington at the 26-yard line of ball to Galeria. Strong drive for the Bearcats with their opening possession of the first quarter. Back under center, he's got Wagner out to the far side. Single coverage on this side. Sends a man in motion this way. Now they'll give it to the up back, who's going to be stopped at about the 23-yard line. Mitchell Lauer was the up back. Second down and about six for the Bearcats. Just outside the Bald Eagle 22 yard line. Same formation as the last play. In motion, Speck's gonna drop back to pass. Looks one way, looks the other way. Now he's looking for room to run. Slides down, he's gonna be short of the first down. His slide started at about the 20-yard line. So it'll bring up a third down and about two. One thing about the turf tonight, it's wet, so the people will slide a little bit. Third down. This is a big play for the Eagles on defense. If they can hold them here, see what uh, force the Bearcats into thinking about a uh, field goal. Five minutes. 15 seconds left to go. Defense, 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 
Hudson Speck calling the play in the huddle. Ian Kidd is wide to the far side of the field. Speck sends him into motion. Handoff is to Clark. He will be close to a first down. It'll be right foot, left foot to see where they spot the ball. Rossman and Kobelarchik make the tackle. Pretty close. They're going to stop for a measurement here. Four fifty-three left to go in the first quarter. Second possession of the game. First one by Huntington. They've started on their own forty and are driving inside Baldigalaria's twenty-yard line. Baldigal took their opening kickoff, went fifty-five yards for a Bartley touchdown. They lead seven to nothing. They are going to be. Less than the length of a football, short, brings up a fourth down for Huntington. Hudson Speck comes back from the sidelines. Kid will come out to the far side of the field, further out than he has been before, between the hash mark and the yard lines. Let's see if he rolls out here. Tight formation with one back in the backfield. Sense of emotion. Sweep to the outside. Nice tackle on the play. Austin Cower on the stop, but it's going to be enough for a first down. The ball now at the 17-yard line for Huntington. Another first down for them. They're on the march as well. So 12 yards away for Huntington for a touchdown. They can still get a first down inside the five before they score a touchdown. Kid to the near side. Speck sets his uh, back in motion, fakes a handoff, looks and throws. Tyler Shaw hit the ball into the hands of number three, Devin Clark. Shaw went up, deflected the pass, and it went into the arms of Devin Clark for a Huntington touchdown. Sometimes you don't have to be good, you just have to be lucky. Devin Green for Huntington now. Set to try and tie it. Snap, it's down. Kick is up, and the kick is good. And we are tied at seven. Four minutes, 11 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Both teams have had the ball one time, and it is tied up at 7-7. Seven, seven. Back D for Bald Eagle, both be both greens, Bryce. Green to the far side of the field. Brian Green to the near side. Bartley and Cleaver are the next two back. See if they try a squib kick again from Huntington. Or if he's going to cut it loose and kick it deep.
He's going to kick it deep. Bryce Green is fumbling with it at about the 25-yard line. He's going to pick it up. He's going to come to the near side. Gets a block. Gets inside. Gets outside. Now he turns it back inside. Gets across the 45 to the 46-yard line. Tackle on the play by the kicker, Devin Green. Bryce Green made many Bearcats miss before the nice, nice stop by the kicker for Huntington. Forty-six yard line for Baldy Galeria. Right about where they started the last one. Let's see if they can answer the Huntington touchdown with one of their own. Bryce Green is out on the near side wide. Shawl to the other side. Bartley goes in motion. There's a sweep toss to him. He's gonna get the corner. Cuts it outside at the 50. He's across the 40. Down inside the 30-yard line and out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Bartley was able to get to the edge and picked up a big gainer. The ball to go clock run stopped because Bartley was tackled out of bounds. 3.51 left to go. Ball be set on the 28-yard line. Toss this way, Mitchell Struble's going to get it. They're stringing it out. He's going to turn up and get down to about the 26-yard line. Pick up about two. They came to the near side of the field on that toss, and the Bearcats strung it out a little bit better. Two yards for Struble, second down and eight. Brian Green is out to the far side. Bryce Green to the near side. Bartley is a sidecar. Now he goes in motion. They're going to hand the ball off inside. Ryan Watkins with the carry. Bill's going to pick up about four, make it third down and four for Ball to Galeria. Bogle needs to get to the 19, just inside the 19-yard line for a first down. See if they uh, let Jones throw the ball. Ball spot on the hash bar closest. Struble in motion. Jones fakes it, rolls, sets his feet, throws. Pass is incomplete, a lot of contact there. The coaches from Baltimore are looking for a flag, but I think they're going to deem it as an uncatchable ball. Incomplete. So fourth down and about five. The question is, do they go for it here, or do they let Tyler Shaw take a shot from about 40 yards for a field goal? Jones runs back to the middle of the field, so they're going to go for it on fourth and five. 2.54 left to go here. Watkins is going to be in the backfield beside Jones. Jones looks, flanker screen to Green. He's going to get the edge. He's going to get the first down and be run out of bounds beyond the first down marker. It's first down for Baldy Galeria. First down. Nice screenplay there to Green. Eagle coaches tonight making some uh, ideas about getting out in space, using the speed to their advantage. And they're on the move once again. Jones in the backfield, Bartley beside him. Ball snap. Jones on the option to Bartley. Bartley's going to take it to 15. Inside the 10 and will be run out of bounds at about the 6-yard line. Enough for another ball to Galeria first down, and it will be first and goal at about the six yard line. Cobal Archie checks in for Mitchell Struble. Two twenty five left to go here in the first quarter. Eagles on the move. Second possession of the game out of the eye now with a wide receiver each way. 
Jones with a toss to Bartley. Bartley's going to get the edge. Got the block that he needed. Can he get to the corner? He will. Six yards for Dakota Bartley and another Baldy Galeria touchdown. Utilized the sweep great. Got the corner and scored. Two minutes and eight seconds left to go. Touchdown, Baldy Galeria. They lead 13 to 7. Jones is on. One for two on that drive and passing. Shaw on for the extra point. Dyke the holder. Snaps down. Kick is up. And it is good. 14 to 7. Baldy Galeri out in front with two minutes and eight seconds left to go in the first quarter. Shaw set to tee it up. Another low kick. It'll be picked up at the 30-yard line by the Bearcats. Fumble. Ball's loose. Initial sign is that the Baldy Galeria team has recovered, and they have. Turnover for the Bearcats. Bald Eagle gets the ball back on the kickoff. Two minutes and two seconds left to go. Let's see if they can cash in another one before the end of the first quarter. Out of the eye, Ryan Watkins is the fullback. Hand off to Bartley. He's going to turn it inside the 35 and be brought down at the 25-yard line by Logan Gallagher. Second and about two. Bodigo's line looks a lot better tonight than they have in the last couple of games. Everybody seems to be healthy tonight. Out of the eye one more time. Play action pass. Jones is throwing the ball wide open to Brian Green. Great play action fake. Jones rolled out a little bit. Found Green wide open for a touchdown. Two plays. 34 yards for Ball to Galeria. They're up 20 to 7. And Shaw on for the extra point. There's a snap, it's down, and it's good. And just like that, Ball to Galeria now up 21 to 7 with one minute and 17 seconds left to go in the first quarter. The Eagles now lead 21 to 7. Nice early lead for the Eagles on homecoming 2013. The undefeated team of 63 will be uh, showcased, I guess is the best way to say it, at, at halftime. It's 
So Shaw set to tee it off again for Bald Eagle. Let's see if they kick it deep this time. Although it's working fairly well with those short low kicks. Shaw's going to hit this one a little bit deeper. It's going to roll and be picked up inside the 10 yard line. Wagner is going to carry people for about 20 yards. And finally on the stop. Coons and Plubel get the credit for the tackle. So Huntington will take over in their 32 yard line. They're down two scores now with a minute and eight seconds left to go in the first quarter. Tight bunch, but Kid will be on the far side. The only one spread wide. Sweep to the side of the field, strung out nicely by the Greens. Run out of bounds, and Austin Cower with a big hit at about the 35 yard line. Everybody stayed at home for the defense that time. They strung it out. It's actually going to be set up at the 34-yard line, not to 35. So three yards on that first, first down carry. Second and seven for the Bearcats. Kid goes out wide, covered by Brian Green. Keeper, now there's a pitch on the outside. Nice cut. Stachek got the pitch, but there's going to be a hold on Huntington. First penalty of the game as well. Ten yard penalty against Huntington from the spot of the foul. Second down for the Bearcats. The penalty will take the ball the whole way back to the 24 yard line, making it a second down and 17. They'll need to get beyond the 42 yard line to get a first down. So John Wagner will be spread out to this side, covered by Bryce Green. Everybody else in tight with one back behind. Quarterback straight back to pass. Now he rolls under some pressure. Just threw the ball away. Closest to the ball was Austin Cower. So Specs pass incomplete. Third and 17 with 32 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Wagner will be split out to the close side of the field here. Two safety look now for Baldy Galeri with Bartley and Shawl. Back to pass. Running for his life. He's going to be run out of bounds. Was he out of bounds before he grounded the ball or not? Nice pressure by Levi Kramer on that play. Fourth down at 17. So our first punt of the game coming with 22 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Green squared back for the return. Bryce and Bryan. Snap, punt is away. It'll be picked up on a bounce by Bryce Green, who's going to be inside the 40 and knocked down, tripped up 
But he's going to fall forward to about the 32-yard line. Tripped up on the play by Stichok. They'll spot the ball at the 33-yard line for the Bearcats. Seven seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Ball to go up 21-7. They have the ball again. Three hash ball to go had the ball three times. They've scored each time. Huntington scored on their first drive. Fumbled the kickoff after the second touchdown. Stribble goes in motion. They'll give it to Bartley the other way. He's going to turn inside. He's across the 20 and inside the 20 and knocked down to about the... 17 yard line as the first quarter comes to a close. First down for Baldy Galeria. Impressive offensive performance so far for Baldy Galeria as the first quarter comes to a close and Baldy Gal out in front by a score of 21 to 7. Bald Eagle is going to take the field, and Tyler Shaw is now under center for Bald Eagle. He's going to hand the ball off to Bill Watkins, who rumbles inside the 10 yard line. Gets to about the six. Close to another first down. And Watkins on that fullback run is going to get another first down for Bald Eagle area. So it'll be first and goal from about the six-yard line for Bald Eagle. Shawl now the quarterback for Bald Eagle. A green each way. Shaw's going to give it off to Watkins again. Watkins will fall inside the five to about the three-yard line. Second and two. And Jason Jones will come back into the game at quarterback for Bald Eagle. Bryce Green go out, will go out to the far side. Brian Green to the near side, out of the eye. And a timeout called by the Eagles. Not sure if Jason sensed the clock running down or not, but he called a timeout. 10.53 left to go. Bald Eagle in front, 21-7. They've scored on each of their first three drives, and they're driving again. The ball's at the three-yard line.
So the Eagles will come back to the line of scrimmage as they come out of the timeout. Watkins back in at fullback. Jones on a roll, throws. Tipped. Went through Kobalarchik's hands and it went through Green's hands incomplete. Check that it wasn't Kobalarchik, it was Watkins. Third down for Bald Eagle. Green each way, Bartley the tailback. Kobalarchik is now the fullback. Inside handoff to Bartley. Bartley's going to fight and will not get in. They're going to mark him short of the goal line at about the one yard line. So fourth down. And Baldigal will go no huddle. Jones on a keeper. Did he break the plane? And he did. Jason Jones on a quarterback keeper on fourth down, and they'll score again. Baldy Galeri now out in front, 27 to seven, and they'll bring Shaw back out for the extra point. Baldy went no huddle, quick snap to Jones. Jones got across, broke the plane for a touchdown. Dyke the holder. There's a snap, it's down. Shaw's kick is up and good. He's perfect, four out of four on the day. 10-19 left to go in the first half. Baldy Galeria extends the lead now to 28 to seven. So back deep for Huntington will be number 44, which is John Wagner. And number 21, which is Rhett Stachak. Shaw set to tee it off from the 40-yard line. Deep kick. Wagner's going to take it at his 15. He's across the 20, the 25. Turns it up to about the 30. Now he's across the 30. Five and brought down in a pile at about the 37-yard line. And that is where Huntington will take over. So Huntington down 28 to seven with 10, 11 left to go here in the first half. Let's see if they open it up a little bit more, if they stay in that tight. Tight formation with a one ride receiver, and they'll stick with that again as Wagner goes out to the far side. Speck under center. He's going to go back to pass. He rolls out, looking, throwing, and complete to Devin Clark for about a three yard game and a flag thrown on the far side. Should be a defensive penalty. See if it's a personal foul. Dead ball, personal foul against the Eagles. So the three yard gain turns into a 15 yard additional gain with the penalty. And it'll put the ball into Ball to Galeria territory at the 45 yard line. We're going to play the 
first down, ball now at the Eagle 45. Wagner out to this side, split out, covered by Brian Green. Inside handoff, and a nice move made by Devin Clark. He's going to pick up about 11. Are they going to spot it? Looks like he'll just be short of the first down by about half a length. Or are they going to move the chains? They'll say he stepped out of bounds before he got the first down, so it'll be second down and about the length of the football. <laughs> nice drive for Huntington. They're not panicking too much as they stay in the same type formation, send the receiver out to the far side. There's an inside handoff, and I don't think he's going to get the first down. Mitchell Lauer, and he's going to be short of the first down. Rossman and Dyke get credit for the tackle. Third down, no gain on the play. Took the fullback and ran into the heart of the line for Baldy Galera. Clock running, 8.48 left to go. Third down and about one. Speck under center. Hands the ball off to Clark. Clark's going to get the first down to Moore. He's across the 30, inside the 20, down inside the 10, and down at about the five-yard line. He got the edge and was able to get down inside the 10-yard line where to be first and goal for the Bearcats. Ball be spotted at the five yard line. Eight thirty two left to go. First and goal at the five for the Bearcats. Speck breaks the huddle with the Bearcats. They maintain that same formation all night. Speck. Handoff to Klar, reverses direction, turns inside, and he will get in for a touchdown. Five yards for Devin Klar on that score. It is now 28 to 13. So Huntington takes the kickoff, takes it down the field, and scores. They respond to Bald Eagles touchdown. Clark is the holder for Devin Green, left-footed kicker for Huntington. Snap. It's through, and it is 28 to 14. Eight minutes and seven seconds left to go. And the Bearcats have made it a 28 to 14 game now. Single deep receiver back for Baldy Galera to be Bryce Green as Brian Green joins the midpoint. Bryce will take it. He's at the 35. He's at the 40, gets outside, 45, 50, gets a block. He's on his way. He'll score. 
That's Brian Green. He's going to go in all by himself for a touchdown. That's been the main reason teams do not kick the ball deep to Baldy Galera this year. And just like that, the Eagles have scored again. It's now 34 to 14. 77 yards on the return for Brian Green. Dyke's getting quite a workout tonight. Taking these long snaps for Shaw. It's down, up, and good. Tyler Shaw, perfect on the night with his extra points. Five for five. 7.53 left to go. 35-14 in favor of Baldy Galeria on homecoming night 2013. Stay Chalk and Wagner back deep for Huntington. Let's see what Shaw will do on this kick. Low liner that's been hit. Ball still loose. It's going to be picked up by Baldy Galeria. It was hit by an up man. And recovered by Baldy Galeria. Cody Shaw picked up the ball, gets credit for the recovery. Thirty-two yard line is where Baldigo will start out of the eye once again. Jones under center. Hand off to the fullback. Who's gonna grind his way inside the fifteen yard line, down to about the fourteen. First down for the Eagles at the 19 yard line. Bartley the tailback. Jones gives to Bartley. Bartley cuts inside, now cuts back across the grain. Tripped up as he gets inside the five yard line. Wagner on the stop. Picked up. Bartley's ankle and brought him down, but it's going to be close. It will be a first down. First and goal for the Eagles. Seven minutes and seven seconds left to go. Brian Green to the near side. Bryce Green wide to the far side. Out of the eye. Hand off to the fullback. Scrum in the middle of the field, and he will break the plane. Levi Kramer filling in at fullback, takes the ball, scores a touchdown for Baldy Galeria. And they have 41 in the first half. To say that they brought the offense out tonight on homecoming would be an understatement. 6.52 left to go. Shaw on again for the extra point. Snap, and Shaw is good again. It is 42 to 14 with 6.52 left to go in the first half. The Eagles out in front 42 to 14. Thank you. 
So Shaw has it teed up, ready to go again. Low bouncer that's going to skip down to about the 15-yard line. That's where Wagner will take it. He turns up to his right. He gets outside. He's at the 30, the 35. going to be dragged down at the 40, and another flag for being tackled out of bounds. So the initial return takes him to the 40, and 15 more will take them into Baldy Galera territory. I wouldn't call that excessive. I think that's momentum, but personal foul on the defense. And they'll step off 15 against the Eagles, who are up 42 to 14. Ball's at the 44 yard line. That's where the Bearcats will start this possession. 6.43 left to go, first half. Wagner out to the near side. Clark in motion. Roll out by the quarterback. to This way, looks to throw it. He's going to tuck it under. Watkins wanted to drill him, but pulled up wisely. Speck's going to gain about two yards. Second and eight. Kid will replace Wagner. See which side they spread him out to. Probably to the far side of the field. No, of course not. He'll come to the near side, which is the short side of the field. Sweep to Clark. He's going to turn it back inside. One man to beat. Shaw trying to close down him. Green with the tackle at about the 10 yard line. Clark took the handoff, turned it up, and got down to the 10 yard line before he was stopped by Shaw and Brian Green. The ball's marked inside the 10, so it will be first and goal for the Bearcats. Speck under center. Handoff. And a touchdown to number 21, Rhett Stachok. Came left, turned it back inside, broke the containment and rolled into the end zone. 42 to 20, six minutes left to go in the first half. This is a basketball score, folks, not a football game. Devin Green on for the extra point. Devin Clark, the holder. High snap, brought down, kick is good. Flag down. Did they run into the kicker? And will they assess it on the kickoff? Let's see what the referee's gonna say here. Extra points, good, and then we have a personal foul. They ran into the kicker. So 15 yards will be added to the line, I guess, for them to kick off. 42-21 with six minutes left to go, second quarter. So Huntington will now tee the ball off at the 45-yard line. 
of Baldy Galeria. So they bring the ball up to the 40, but they have yet... Okay, no. Okay, so now we're going to mark it off, and they'll go 15, and sure enough, Huntington will tee the ball off at the 45-yard line. So I'm going to speculate here, after they kick the ball to deep to the greens the last time, I bet we're going to see a line drive squibber here to the hands group at the 30-yard line. Bald Eagles' first wave are 12 yards off the ball. Let's see if they step up to it and see if uh, Green just kicks a little squibber here as they try and recover an onside kick. Oh, they're going to kick it deep. And Green will go into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 20-yard line. So Bald Eagle takes over at their own 20. Not sure why they wanted to kick it into the end zone. Down 21. Jones comes out. Bartley goes in motion. Hand off to Mitchell Struble, who's got the corner. He's at the 30, 35, horse collared. Run out of bounds at about the 39 yard line, 40 yard line, 20 yards for Struble. Huntington defender grabbed the collar and let off as Struble ran out of bounds. Nice run for Mitchell Struble. 20 yards and a first down for the Eagles. Bartley in motion. Here's a toss to him. Big sweep come this way. Nice play by the Bearcat defense, stopping Bartley from getting outside. He's going to get about a yard, maybe a yard and a half. Second and nine with the clock running. 5.27 left to go. It's dribble in motion to the far side. It's a pitch to him, and it's a reverse. Back to Green. Nice call. Green steps inside a runner. He's inside the 30 and the 20. Gets the corner. Could he get to the edge and score? They're going to mark him out of bounds. He's, they're going to say he got in. He stayed in bounds long enough to get to the pylon. And the reverse from Struble to Green is a touchdown for Baldy Galeria. And Baldy Galeria now has 48, and we've not reached halftime yet this evening. Shaw on for the extra point. It's up and good. And with 4.53 left to go, Baldy Galeria out in front, 49 to 21. So the Eagles go 80 yards in three plays and are out in front 49 to 21.
see where stat boy Doug Dyke is to find out what the uh, biggest amount of points Bald Eagle has ever put on the uh, on the board ever in a varsity game. Four and a half for sure. Shaw tees it off. Squibber along the ground, picked up by Wagner. He's got space. He's past Shaw. He's into Bald Eagle territory, and he'll be pushed out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. So the Bearcats down by 28 with 4.42 left to go here in the first half. Wagner will be split out to the wide side of the field, which is nearest us in the press box. Speck back to throw. Under some pressure, he's going to... He slides down at the 31-yard line. Watkins is right there to help make sure he doesn't get up. Gain of about three for Speck. Four, actually. Make it second and six. Clock running, 424 left to go. Speck ran off the side to get a play. Comes back in. Not a lot of rush in the Bearcats. They've stayed in the same formation most of the night. Second and six. Clark's going to take the ball. Turns it back inside. Cuts back across. This time, it's going to be stopped. Watkins in on the tackle for Bald Eagle area. Third and about three for the Bearcats at the Bald Eagle area, 27-yard line. Let's call it third and two. They're going to need to get to about the 25-yard line. Right inside the 25 for a first down. They'll give it to Clark again. He's going to turn inside. He's going to be close to the first down. It'll depend on the spot whether he got the first down or not. And looking across the way, the chain gang has already moved. So it will be a first down. Right inside the 25 is where the ball is spotted. First down, clock running, just under three minutes left to go here in the first half. Ball to go out in front, 49 to 21. On homecoming night 2013. Flag. Side judges went through the flag, so someone lined up one way or the other. Offsides against Bald Eagle area. The ball wasn't snapped, so I'm not sure why they called it that way. So first and five now for Huntington. Speck under center. They'll come this way with the ball. Stay check with the ball. He's going to take it inside the 20. Bring him down at about the 17 yard line. Second and three. Here's a reverse to Wagner. Wagner's running inside, gets inside the 15. Just shy of the 10 yard line, but a first down. Hall, 
Hall for ball to go on the stop. 11-yard line is where the ball is spotted. So Huntington can get another first down before they get into the end zone. Clock running. 139 left to go. Huntington very methodical with their play calling. One twenty left to go. Clark motion spec fakes to him, sets, looks, throws, misses the first tackler, and then finished off, sacked on the play by Josh Fye. And that'll bring a timeout for the Bearcats with a minute and ten left to go. So second down and long, let's say 18. On that, Speck was able to step up and miss the first rusher, but Phi was in to finish him off. So Huntington breaks a huddle. Ball at the 19-yard line. 18 yards to go for a first down. 19 for a touchdown. They're down 49 to 21. Clark in motion. Wa right up the gut. Stacek takes a ball, turns inside, and scores on a touchdown. 19 yards out. And now it's 49 to 27 in favor of Baldy Galeria. So there'll be about a minute and two seconds left for Baldy Glary to get the ball back and see if they can score one more time before the half. But first, Evan Green needs to uh, attempt this extra point for Huntington. Snap is down, kick is up, and good. 49-28. One minute and two seconds left to go in the first half. So Bodigal has two timeouts left. And let's see where they get the ball to start this series. See if Huntington will kick it deep. Two keys so far tonight for Baldy Galera have been the uh, fumbled kickoff. minute and two left to go in the first half an eternity in possessions the way Bald Eagle has been scoring at will tonight each time they've touched the ball hands team up there's a ball that's going to skip and it will go into the end zone now the clock ran which I'm not sure why because it wasn't touched by anybody on the offense so we'll see if they reset the clock so Baltigalera starts at their own 20 80 yards to go for another touchdown they've scored seven times so far in the first half it's 49 to 28 
They break the huddle out of the eye with one green each way. Jones under center. Straight hand off to Bartley. Bartley's going to be stopped at about the 23-yard line. And a timeout will be called. Second and eight. 48 seconds left on the clock. And Baldy will have one timeout left. So we're set to go again. Second down and eight for Bald Eagle. Hand off to Watkins, who's going to be across the 30. Hit and spun out of bounds. First down, though, for Watkins as he picked up a little over 10 yards on the run. 38 seconds left to go the first half. And the ball will be spotted at the 33-yard line of Bald Eagle area. Watkins looking good tonight at fullback. Ball spotted at the Eagle 33 yard line. Bartley's a tailback. Watkins a fullback. Jones the quarterback. Jones straight back to pass. Steps up. They came off the edge. And he'll be sacked at the 30 yard line. Bearcat came free off the edge, and that'll do it for the quarter. As the first half will come to a close. Body Galeria in front, 49 to 28 over the Bearcats. We're at halftime of Homecoming 2013.
ladies and gentlemen, let's do these men one last round of applause as we thank them for putting the Arizona area football on the map in Central Pennsylvania 15 years ago. Check one, two, three. That's okay. Yeah. Check one, two, okay.
and ready to go for the second half as Baldy Glary will be kicking off to the uh, Bearcats. 49-28 is our score. Shell has it set up. Short kick. Kick to number 32, Logan Fisher. He's going to be stopped at about the 43-yard line of Huntington. So Huntington takes over at their own 43-yard line, down 49 to 28. Baltigal goes on the road next week at Clearfield and then back here in two weeks where they will host Belfont on senior night. Huntington stays in the same formation they've been running all night with Widener out to the far side. Inside reverse to Clark. Clark's going to go to his right across the 45. Across midfield, he's going to go to first down. Forward progress will take him to the 45-yard line. So on the first play from scrimmage, Huntington gets about 13 yards and a first down. Cower and Shaw on the stop. Eleven forty-two. Ian Kidd out to this near side, wide. This is the far side of the field. Hand off to the man in motion, number 21. Who's going to be stopped by Brian Green. Stetchaw came to the left, tried to turn it back the other way. Brian Green made this stop. No gain on the play. Second and ten for the Bearcats. Eleven minutes left to go here. On homecoming night 2013. Weiner's the wide receiver to this side of the field. Inside handoff to Clar. Clar across the 40, across the 35, dragged down at about the 31 yard line. Tyler Shaw, Ryan Watkins on the tackle, but another pickup and another first down of about 13 yards for Huntington. 10.30 left to go. A lot of misdirection out of these formations for the Bearcats. They've not broken out of their game plan all night. Beck sends Clark in motion. They'll give it on the inside to the fullback, number 45. That's Mitchell Lauer. He's going to get across the 30-yard line and bring up second down at about four. Check that. Let's make it third down and four. No, I was right the first time. It's second down and four. Clock rolling, 9.50 left to go. As the Bearcats break the huddle. One back. Hand off to Lauer. Lauer, the stutter step, now gets inside the 25 yard line, down to about the 21 yard line. It'll be close to a first down. Ryan Dyke with the uh, credit on the stop there. Third down and less than a yard to go. So Wagner will go out. Ian Kidd will come in in his place. Speck comes in with a play. Kidd's out to the far side of the field. Clark tries to take the handoff. He does get the sweep. He's going to be inside the 20-yard line, get a first down for Huntington at about the 17-16 yard line. Cower with the stop. Clock running, 8.43 left to go. 
first down for the Bearcats. They started out at their own 43-yard line and have taken the ball from the uh, second half kickoff and are driving. Speck under center. Sends Clark in motion. Inside handoff to the fullback. Nice play by the defensive line that time. Tanner Kramer and Dakota Rossman looks like on the stop. Or check that, it could be Phi. Eight minutes left to go. Gain of about two. Great October night for football. What looked like it was going to be a rainy night has stopped. Speck steps back, throws wide open on a post pattern was number 21, Stechok. Shaw was back on defense. Third down. Let's call it eight. Wagner out to the near side, wide. Reverse, pitch to Clark. He's going to turn it up. He's got the first down. He's going to be inside the five. And where will he be stopped at? Beck's handing the ball off to the up man who has turned his hands the ball off. This time it was Clark who got that. And it'll make it first and goal now for the Bearcats at the five yard line. Nice stop there by Ryan Watkins or Austin Cower. Stechok tried to turn it back inside. Gain of about one. Second and goal. Lock on the play. There we go. Second goal from the Eagles, six yard line. Wagner takes the ball and will roll into the end zone on the handoff for a touchdown. Six minutes and 30 seconds left to go. It is now 49 34. The Bearcats aren't quitting, folks. Six and a half left to go here. Third quarter. Devin Green on for an extra point try. And Baldy will be called for an offsides penalty. See if they assess it on the kickoff. Or if they'll go half the distance. So the referee will run over and ask the Bearcat coaching staff what they want to do with that offsides penalty. And they'll move the spot about a yard for this extra point try. Snap. Low kick and no good. It was a low snap and the kick was even lower. No good. 49 to 34 is our score. 
Six minutes and 31 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Bald Eagle up in front by 15. So we'll see what the Eagles can do with their first drive of the second half when they take over after the kickoff. Green has the ball teed up at the 40-yard line for the Bearcats. Back deep is Green all by himself. He's going to be at about the 14-yard line. Now his brother will come back. Low bouncing kick. See if it gets a good bounce for Green. He'll take it at his 18. He's going to come to this side. They've got a wedge out in front. Needs to get outside. He needs one block. He needs one more block. Turns it back outside. It's going to be thrown out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Stachok threw him out of bounds and put his hands up. Baldigo coaches up here in the press box. Thought that was uh, outside the lines. Screaming for 15 yards, but did not get it. 619 as Bald Eagle takes over in the third quarter. Jones will be a quarterback. Green each way. Mitchell Struble on one side car. Now he goes in motion. They bring Bartley this way. Bartley turns it inside. He's going to be brought down at the 30 yard line. Stopped on the play by number 77, Tyler Morningstar. Second at about three. Long three, short four. Couple Archie checks in, Mitchell Struble comes out on second down. Bryce Green goes to the far side, Brian Green to the near side. They'll be out of the eye this time as Jones brings him to the line. Watkins is the fullback. Just give to Bartley. Bartley's going to be at the 35. First down and be brought down to the 39-yard line. Running between the tackles. Bartley gets a first down. Ball be at the 39-yard line. Should be noted that the Eagles are relatively healthy on that front line tonight. You can tell a difference in the blocking tonight with Tanner Kramer back. And he missed the last two games with a high ankle sprain. Two receivers to the far side of the field, out of the eye. Jones hands it off to Bartley. Bartley's going to step across the 40. He's going to ride up to the 44-yard line, pick up about four and a half, five yards. Makes it a second down and five. Straight ahead running. No east and west. Bartley, the last two plays, just gone north and south. 4.50 left to go till the ball snap. Should be about 4.45 left to go here, third quarter. First possession of the second half for the Eagles. They'll send a receiver each way. Offset eye. Watkins slides in motion. Here's a pitch to the wide side of the field with Bartley gets the corner. He's at the 50. 45, 40, 35, 30, and he's going to be knocked down at about the 27 yard line by Wagner of Huntington with another big run. Nice play that time. They sent Watkins out, sliding out. He picked up the kick block. Bartley ran behind his blockers. Another big first down run for Bartley. First down at the 27 yard line of Bald Eagle area. Bald Eagle very methodical tonight in their offensive scheme. Utilizing their speed. Now they're running between the tackles. Green each way, offset eye. Watkins is the fullback. Kobel Archik is the 
Here's a toss to Bartley. Bartley's going to get out on the edge. 25, turns it up, and stopped short of the 20 yard line. Gets to about the 22 yard line. Whistle on the play. Flag on the play. Dead ball foul, personal foul against Bald Eagle area. So the play will stand and then 15 yards will be assessed back after that. So it'll make it second down and ball's placed at the 38 yard line. They need to get to the 18. So it'll be second and 20. Out of the gun. Watkins will go to the left side. He's in a slot. Kublar takes a tight end to the near side. Jones with a draw play. Give it to Bartley. Bartley not fooling anybody. Morningstar with a tackle. And it'll bring up third down and long. No gain on the play. So Bartley's going to come out and get a breather. Struble will come in. Third down. Struble's a tailback. Watkins is the fullback. A green each way. Jones, because he roll out, there's a flag down. He's going to be dropped in the backfield by number 32, Logan Fisher, on the sack. Flag down on the play, though. Looks like illegal motion against Bald Eagle area. So motion play. Penalties decline, so fourth down for Baldy Galeria. And this will be the first time Baldy Galeria punts the ball tonight. Ball right at midfield, Jones back to punt the ball. Stichak is back deep. Here they come. High kick that's going to be caught at the 25-yard line and tripped up nicely there by number 80, Shane Coons. Tripped up number 21, Rhett Stachak. And about the 26-yard line. 24 yards net on the punt. And the Bearcats will take over there with 2.32 left to go, third quarter. 49-34 now is the score. The question is, will that missed extra point come back and haunt Huntington? Wagner split out to the far side of the field. In motion is Clark. Speck. Backs, rolls, being chased by Weaver, sets, throws, complete to Clark, and he will get enough yardage for the first down. Rolls out to the far side of the field, hits Clark in stride, picks up a first down for Huntington. Ian Kidd to the near side. First down. Clark gives it, gets the ball, goes to his right, is going to be stopped at the 40 yard line. And we have a stoppage in play. As they bring Clark off the field. 
Second down and seven for the Bearcats. Clock running, 2.05 left to go here, third quarter. Ball to go out in front, 49 to 34. Bearcats took the opening drive, started the ball on their own 43 yard line. Punched it in on their opening drive, mixed the extra point. That's the difference in score, 49-34. Ball eagle forced a punt the first time they had the ball. Now the Bearcats have it back again. Here's a sweep to the near side. Inside the 25-yard line is number 21, Rhett Stachak. Brian Green tried to rip the ball out, but he's brought down by Tyler Shaw, Brian Watkins, and Brian and Bryce Green. But it's a big gain for the Bearcats. Ball spotted at the 25. 130 left to go here. Cleaver on. Ryan Dyke comes off. The Eagles need to stop here because the Bearcats have not gotten out of their play calling all night. Steady, moving the ball down the field. Wagner in motion. He's going to get the ball. Sweeps to his right, inside the 20, down to about the 15-yard line. And another first down for Huntington. Cleaver gets credit for the stop. The question is, how close is it? It'll be second down. Second and about one. 55 seconds left to go. Fast moving third quarter. Baltigari defense back on their heels right now with 45 seconds left to go. Bearcats on the move. They could get it within one score if they t punch it in here. Wagner goes in motion. They're going to give it to the up back, number 45. That's Mitchell Lauer. He's going to get the first down. Kobo Larchik with the stop. Huntington has the ball first down at the Bald Eagle area, 13 yard line. Ball on the Eagle, 13 yard line, first and 10. Bearcats send Ian Kidd out, to the f out wide. He's on the near side of the field. Speck under center. In motion goes Wagner. Fake to him. Speck rolls out. Steps up. Throws. Threw it on the back shoulder of Kidd. Speck could have had more room if he'd have just tucked it under and ran with it. Threw it, and he threw it behind Kidd. Six seconds left to go, second and ten. Ball at the 13 yard line. Now Wagner's going to be flanked out to the near side of the field. Speck sends Clark in motion. Speck rolls. Will he pitch it? Will he keep it? Nice tackle made on the play. Josh Fai with the tackle. No gain, and that will bring the third quarter to an end. Fast, fast moving third quarter. Ball to Galeria out in front 49 to 34. So third down and 10 for the Bearcats as we switch ends of the field in the fourth quarter.
Third and ten for the Bearcats as we start the fourth quarter. They'll come in running onto the field after the break. Kidd will stay out to the far side. The wide side of the field. Speck under center. Long count. Since Wagner in motion. They're going to give it to Wagner inside. And a nice stop made by Jordan Kobelarchik. Right about at the line of scrimmage, which will make it fourth down and ten. So now there's some decision to be made here. Do they go for it or do they try and kick a field goal? Speck went over the sidelines and they'll take a timeout to think about it. Sonnington calls a timeout. 11.39 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Fourth and 11. Ball at the 18 yard line. They need to get inside the 8. About the 7 yard line actually for a first down. This is a big stop for Baldy Glare if they can do this. The momentum has clearly shifted to the Bearcats in the second half. They took the opening kickoff, took it down, scored. Baldy gets the ball back. Their drive stalls on a dead ball penalty, 15-yard penalty, which pushed them back and stopped their, their drive to start the second half. Bearcats have had the ball the majority of uh, the third quarter and now they've had it for one one full play so far here in the uh, fourth quarter. Referee tells the Huntington coach he needs to break the huddle. Coach decides he'll leave on his own time. Big fourth down play here for the Baldy Galeria defense. Split backs now with Kidd on the outside. Wagner goes in motion. Speck's going to roll to his left. Kramer's chasing. He's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Let's see who made the stop. Looks like Watkins. Oh, correction, that's Jordan Kobelarczyk. Sack brings the turnover on downs for Baldy Galeria. The Eagles will take over at their 25-yard line. Big stop for the Eagles that time. They came up big when they needed to. 11.30 left to go. 49-34 is the score. Second possession of the second half for the Eagles. Let's see what they can do with it. Jones. Sweep to Struble. Struble needs to get the corner. He does. He's going to be knocked out of bounds at about the 30. Struble's going to go into the bench and take out a couple of the uh, helpers. It's a great thing about the turf. It's nice and wet and good and slick. Gain of about five for Struble on first down. Jones comes back in with a play. Bartley's going to go in motion. They're going to give it to the up back, which is Ryan Watkins. Watkins is going to get to the 28-yard line, about two yards short. Sorry, 33-yard line, not the 28. Game three. Third down and about two and a half. Watkins will come out. Clock running. Some ball to go's favor to let that clock keep running. Out of the eye. Jones. Hand off to Bartley. Bartley 35 40 across the 40 to the 42 yard line. Gets a first down for the Bald Eagle. Moves the sticks for the Eagles. And once they set the ball, we'll get the clock started again. 42 yard line is where the ball will be placed. And clock rolling with 10 and a half left to go. Kobalarczyk checks back into the game. Oh, 
Struble's the tailback now. Bartley came off. He'll get the toss as he goes to his right, turns it up, cross the 42, and back to the original line of scrimmage. Play was slow to develop. He wasn't able to get outside. Tried to turn it up inside. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Now Shaw is going to go in at quarterback. And Jones comes off to the sidelines. Doesn't appear to be injured. So Shaw out of the eye. On a keeper. Looked like it was meant to be a pitch. Shaw kept it. Huntington thought there was a fumble, but he's going to be ruled down. No gain on the play. Jones comes back in for third down. Third and nine for the Eagles. Clock continues to run. Nine minutes left to go. Three receivers to this side. Jones back, looks under some pressure, steps up, throws incomplete. Just out of the grasp of Brian Green. And fourth down for Baldy Galeria. So another turnover on downs here for the Eagles with 8.47 left to go. Jones back deep to punt it. Stichok back for Huntington to receive it. Huntington creeping up. Gets the punt away. Spiral kick. Stichok takes it at his 28. Steps up. Gets across the 30. 35. 40. Down at the 42 yard line. So the Bearcats will take over at the 42-yard line, 58 yards away from a score. Elliot Peters gets the stop. Credit for the tackle on the play. 8.36 left to go. Ball's placed at the 41. Eagles two series in a row now have resulted in punts in the second half. Speck under center. Here comes the near side sweep to Clark. Clark tries to turn back the other way. He's going to be stopped at the 40-yard line. Loss of about one. Cower, Shawl, Kobalarchik. And Austin Power. On the Loss of about a half yard. Let's make it second and ten and a half. Clock runs. Eight ten left to go here for Huntington. Down two scores. Speck under center. Back to pass, rolls, steps up, quarterback draw, he's got room to run. He's going to be across the 50 and taken down by Nate Cleaver for a first down inside the Eagles territory. Ball will be at the 48-yard line. Speck went back, everyone was covered, there was room to run in the middle of the field, he stepped up, took it. Cleaver had to bring him down, but after another first down, Wagner comes in. Stichak comes out for the Bearcats. As they are in the huddle. Seven minutes, 19 seconds left to go. Eagle defense needs to come up with another stop here. Wagner in motion. He'll get it. He's going to slide forward. He's across midfield. Back across the original line of scrimmage. Ball was loose. But ruled down on the play. 
Ball skidded out, and Brian Green had it was taken off to the end zone, but it was ruled down. So second down and nine. Timeout for Huntington. Six minutes and 36 seconds left to go. Eagle defense really back on their heels this entire second half. They need to stop for sure. Second and nine. Bearcats come up to the line of scrimmage. Eagles back on defense. Wagner is flanked out to this side. Clar in motion. Speck back to pass. Steps screen pass to Wagner. Nice play. Tripped up nicely by Kobelarchik. Reached across, picked the ankle, and dropped him at the line of scrimmage. No game. Maybe actually lost about a half a yard. So makes it a third down and ten for the Bearcats. Nice read by Kobelarchik on the screen. Dyke out, Bartley in as they'll go back to two safeties now on a third and ten. Wagner is the flanker out to this side. Speck straight back to pass. Pumps once. Steps forward. Now being chased. Steps across the 50s at the 45 and down at the 40-yard line. Makes it a fourth down and about two. Heavy pursuit by Tanner Kramer and Jordan Kobelarczyk along with Dakota Rossman. Fourth down and two. Much more manageable for the Bearcats here. It's four down territory for them. They're down two scores and a two-point conversion. Dyke comes back in. Bartley comes back out. Add another linebacker. Take out a safety for the Eagles. Looks like it's really going to be about fourth and three. Five minutes and 43 seconds. I wouldn't say this is the ball game, but it'll sure help if the Eagles can stop the Bearcats on this play right here. The far side of the field is where Wagner is spread out. Let's see who comes in motion. It's Stachak. Speck rolls, steps up. He's got the first down and more. 30, 25, 20. Being chased and pushed out of bounds by Tyler Shaw at about the 12-yard line. No passing lane, so Speck just put it underneath and ran it. And the clock didn't start. So the 13 yard line of Baltigal area is where the ball will be placed now. Kids out on the far side. Stay check the motion man. He turns it up inside, inside handoff. 10, 5, walks into the end zone for a touchdown and there's an injured player for Baldy Galeria on the field. It appears to be one of the greens. Looks like it's Bryce Green who's gonna hop off. I don't know if it's a cramp or if he twisted his ankle. Cramped up. So 49 to 40 is our score. 527 left to go. Ball's down. 
Kick is up, and the kick is good. 49-41. It's been all Huntington the second half. 5.27 left to go. Ball to Galeria. We'll get the ball back. They're up by eight. And the momentum is clearly on the Bearcats side of the field. Silence on the Ball to Galeria side of the field. From what was a big lead to a lot of not sure what's going to happen here. Ball to Galeria needs this game for the AA District 6 playoffs. This will go a long way. Green's getting hydrated. Still limping pretty good from that uh, cramp. Hands group on the first on the first wave as they don't expect uh, the Baltimore coaching staff not expecting a deep kickoff this time. A lot of 20s and 40s out there in the field for Baldio. No 60s or 70s. So Green set to tee it off for the Bearcats. Brian Green deep. There's a bouncing kick. Still bouncing around, still loose, and the Bearcats have recovered it. It caromed off three players for Ball to Galeri before it was fallen on by number 21, Red Stachok. So Huntington takes over. 5.19 left to go. It's 49 to 41. If the first half was all Ball to Galeria, the second half so far has been all Huntington. Speck steps back, steps up to pass. It's complete at the 11-yard line. Pass was caught to Logan Fisher over the shoulder, down to the 11-yard line. Stunned silence on the Baldy Galeria side of the field, to say the least, right now. Huntington knows they have the momentum and they're running to the line of scrimmage right now. Stay check in motion. He gets the handoff. He's going to get to the 10 yard line. Give him two yards. Baldy defense needs to come up with a play here. They need a turnover right now. And I mentioned it briefly before, but that missed extra point for Huntington looming out there now. The Bearcats have been methodical the whole time. Here's an inside handoff. Stichak gets it. He's going to be across the 10 to about the 8-yard line. Ryan Watkins comes running off the field, had an issue with his helmet, takes somebody else's helmet, and runs back to the middle of the linebacking core for the Eagles. Clock running, 3.55 left to go. 49-41, Baldy Galeri out in front, but the Bearcats are on the move. Kid out to the near side of the field wide. Here comes the sweep, and into the end zone. Devin Clark scores for the Bearcats. It's now 49-47. And will they go for two, or will they kick the extra point? Uh, 
And there's a timeout on the field by the Bald Eagle Area Eagles. It appears that Huntington's going to go for two here. Well, if you left at halftime, I hope you got home and are watching us on the internet now because the score is right. It's 49 to 47, Bald Eagle Area out in front. They were up 21 at halftime. The lead is now two, and the Bearcats are going for two to tie the game up with 3.35 left to go. So here we go. Two point conversion time. Speck under center. Kids out wide. They'll send State Chalk in motion. Speck rolls out. He goes to pitch it. He does pitch it, but it'll come up short. Stomped on the pitch. And when they needed to make a play, Baldy Galeria made the play to stop the two point conversion. 49 47 with 3.35 left to go, and Baldy Galeria will get the ball back. And I highly doubt that the Bearcats will kick it deep again after the pinball kickoff the last time. I'd be thinking it's a hands team the rest of the way on kickoffs for Baldy Galeria after what uh, the kickoffs that have been coming in. The last time they kicked it deep, Green took it the rest of the way, 75 yards for a touchdown. So here we are, hands team out for Baldy Galeria. Shaw, Cower, Watkins, Kobalarchik, Dyke up front. Also Colton Comley. Squibber picked up. By it looks like Colton Comley. Didn't quite get that last bounce that Green had hoped for. Comley dove right on it. Two point lead for the Eagles as they'll get the ball at their own 46 yard line. They've had two possessions, two, the entire second half, and both have resulted in punts right around the midfield line. Out of the eye, Bartley is back at tailback. A green each way, Watkins the fullback. Handoff straight ahead to Bartley. He's gonna get about two yards and that's about it. Make it one. So second and nine. Clock is the Eagles' best friend right now as the clock rolls. The Eagles need a first down. Huntington has used one timeout. I'll have to double check and see if they actually have two left or if they only have one left. Under three minutes left to go. Out of the eye. Jones taking his time. Hand off to Bartley. Bartley across midfield. He's going to roll forward to about the 47-yard line. Hit hard there, but he's going to be close to a first down, about third and four, third and three. Manageable territory for the Eagles. Running inside the tackles.
Ball's at the 47. They need to get to the 44 yard line. Watkins comes out. Out of the gun. Shaw spread to the near side. Two greens the other way. Green comes in motion. He'll get the ball. Makes a turn. Turns it up. 45. First down. 43-yard line is where the ball be spotted. Enough for a first down. Brian Green came in motion. Got the handoff. Stopped on the play by number 77, Tyler Morningstar, who was slow getting up. Timeout by Huntington with a minute and 57 seconds left. Huge first down for the Eagles. So the timeout's over. Baldigal has the ball at the 43 yard line. Scoreboard still shows three timeouts for Huntington, but they've used at least two. Out of the eye. Watkins the fullback, Bartley the tailback. Give it to Bartley, Bartley the 40. Down to the 35 yard line. Stays inbounds, keeps the clock running. Eight yards on first down. Bryce Green will come off. Coons goes in for him. Watkins comes out. They're going to line up Levi Kramer in the backfield at fullback. Offset eye. 116 left to go. They'll give it to Bartley one more time. Flag down. Let's side judge through the flag. Let's see what he has to say. He's pointing at Baldy Galeria. Illegal procedure against the Eagles. 104 left to go. So do they take the down or the distance? Bearcats coaching staff saying they'll decline the penalty, make it a third down. Third and two. One minute and four seconds left to go. Clock running. We'll be under a minute before the ball to go snaps the ball. If they get a first down here, the game's over. Jones brings him up under center. Bartley goes in motion. Here's a toss to Bartley. He's going to step inside. He's going to be close to the first down. And he's going to get the first down. Balls at the 31 yard line. And a first down. And that should do it. Thirty seconds left to go. Baldy will go back into victory formation. 25 seconds left. Jones just needs to snap the ball and down it. And Jones kneels down with 14 seconds left to go. And with that, 
Baldy Galeria will hold on and win on homecoming 49 to 47. The Eagles had the ball twice in the second half. Bearcats came back from 21 down for a whale of a game. Final score, 49-47. Baldy Galeria beats the Bearcats on homecoming 2013.